don't scare me, Thunder. Just like that silly zombie movie. Oh, oh, oh James. Phew. For once, it's good to see you. Oh, hi, Norman. Oh, no. You've turned into a zombie. A Ponty Pandy zombie. A Pondy. Stay away from me, Pondy. <laughs> Norman. Hasn't he seen someone with a winter bug before? The ponies are coming! The ponies are coming! Oh, must be the coldest night of winter. I can't wait for summer. When the sun is nice and hot. Come and party your my up. Wake up! Shake up! Shake up my summer, summer go go! Great tangled houses! What's going on here? I'm sorry, sir. The crew were just having a little sing-along. Well, why didn't someone tell me? This song is my favourite. Shake up the summer, go, go. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Help! Save me from the Pondies! Norman, y you best stay away from here. Hannah's been infected. Hannah too! Have a visitor. I've been cooped up all day. Not a good idea, love. You could give your bug to Norman. Norman! Ah! Come back! Oh no, the zombies are getting closer. How would you? I'm trying to watch a scary zombie movie. I'll tell you what's really scary, Mandy. James and Hannah have turned into Ponty Pandy zombies. They're Pondies. <laughs> oh, come on, Norman. Everybody knows that zombies aren't real. Are they? Quick, Norman, inside! Pondies! Barricade the doors and windows! Upstairs. Oh, phew, we're safe. Oh. <laughs> Bondi? Huh? You're a Bondi! No, I'm not, Norman. I just think I'm getting sick. That's the first sign of being a Bondi! Another successful hike with the wild man of Ponty Pandy. And you've all earned your prince's award badge. Now it's back to Ponty Pandy to collect your awards from the actual prince. Yes! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the prince. I've got a present for his little boy. He's a prince too, Mandy. He won't want your nasty old toy. Whoa! Stop! Oh! oh. Now! There's supposed to be a bridge here. Oh, no. Oh, no, we'll never get back in time to see the prince. Uh, I think that's dry enough now, Elvis. Ah, right, so, this is where the royal party will get out of their car. So the red carpet should start here. But it has to go all the way to the stage. Here! But it has to go all the way to the car, Elvis. <gasps> I think we might have shrunk the carpet, Sam. Yes, Elvis, I think we have. Oh, no! It's all right, everyone, I'm here. And I've brought the bunting. No need to put the red carpet out for me, Sam. I think it might need a clean now, Sam. Shall we put it back in the sea? Listen up, people. We have ten minutes. Oh, no! We'll never make it across in time for the royal visit. Never say never to the... Royal men are Ponty Pandy! So what exactly are the wild men of Ponty Pandy going to do? Teach us to get our flying badges? No. The wild men will show you how to cross a ravine. Ah, 
There you go. Safe as houses. You'll be back before you know it. It's not the carpet it was, Elvis. No, Sam. It isn't. What? The royal party? I mean, I mean the penguins? Oh, whatever they're called. The prince and princess have made an unscheduled stop at Dillis's cut price store. What? Why would they go there? Apparently they've forgotten the little prince's favourite toy and they stopped to see if they can get him something there. So, why are we waiting here? Plus, want to see the prince's a mouldy potato? Shall we take the red carpet with us, Sam? No, Elvis. I think this carpet's royal days are over. Oh, look! A mysterious meeting place! It's a beach hut, Norman. A beach hut with a laptop outside, eh? With the moon in the middle of the screen, eh? I have never said this before, but I think Norman might be right. Oh. This could be a mysterious meeting place. <laughs> I told you, and I told you. Oh. They are sending signals to the moon men. No, they're not. I know what this is. <gasps> Well, I don't know about moon men, but there might be quite a lot of people out there in a very small boat. The tide is pulling us out. And look out for the telescope! Mind that all! Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Pickalilly. Will you please stop calling me Professor Pickalilly? Oh, sorry. I meant pickles. I like Pickalilly. <laughs> 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 Better call firemen. Oh, you're already here. And I need backup. Call the fire station, Hannah. I'm going out there to see if I can help. Hello? Um, uh, there's a boat. Uh, and it's, uh... A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. A mysterious group of people have capsized their boat while trying to contact the moon men. I'll get down to the Ocean Rescue Centre. <sighs> I think I need a day off. Tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way. Look, that must be from Sam. Come on, Elvis. I'll need your help for this one. Right, cadets. Back to the centre. What? I don't believe this. <sighs> Trust Norman Price to ruin our helicopter ride. I'll secure it first, and then we can rescue Norman and Dillis. Sam, Elvis, stand by to lower.
The card is secure. Norman and Dennis, we're coming to get you. Okay. I need you to both keep very still whilst we open the doors. Ready, Elvis? One, two, three. Now, we're going to lean inside the car and attach you to a harness. Ready? That's it. Steady now. All clear. Pull us up now. Ellie, we're going to need Phoenix to get Dillis's car back. Over. Sam radioed and told me that you called in the emergency and were very calm, Norman. For that, I award you a cadet star. I don't believe it! Shiny my star is! And I got to ride in Wallaby too! <laughs> this was all my fault. I wasn't prepared for my Norman's trip. And then uh, I drove too fast. Dillis, you should never drive fast or go off-road, no matter how late you are. I'm but sorry. the champion alien bug hunters of Pondy Pandy? Mm -hmm. Well, no. But what if Ben needs Neptune? He's got Titan. And besides, we'll be back before he's finished his lunch. Hmm. The steering on Neptune is almost the same as on Dad's boat. Take her to warp drive, Engineer Sarah. Ah, ah, I really don't like warp drive. Oh, you never should have laughed at Station Officer Steele, Elvis. He's hidden Dolly really well this time. Cold, cold, freezing. Brrr. We've looked everywhere. Hmm. I've got an idea. First rule of search and rescue. The higher you are, the further you can see. Bingo. Ooh, so cold. So cold. You uh, might want to look on Jupiter's roof, Elvis. Ooh. Oh, where? What? Uh, getting warm, warm, hot, hot. Got her! That way! It's getting quite choppy, Sarah. Maybe you should slow down a bit. If you slow down, Sarah, they'll beat us! Take a left. Uh, I, mean, I mean, starboard. You mean port? Oh, oh. Oh, look! It's the kids driving them too. Hello, kids! Wait a minute! Our kids are driving Neptune! At full throttle! I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! Norman, Mandy, James and Sarah are heading out to sea at full throttle on Neptune looking for alien insects. Norman, Mandy, James and Sarah are heading out to sea at full throttle on Neptune looking for alien insects. Oh, I miss the days when we used to rescue cats from trees. I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. 
In the fire of the Flutz house, Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Hannah, I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it. We'd better call Lizzie to come and check the cat's OK. The fire's out, Sam. Do you think the stinky cat is OK? He's fine. And even better, I found his owner, Mrs Chen. I'm meeting her at my surgery. We never did find out who stole the Pincy Ponsonby diamond. Oh, I know that one. It was Colonel Ketchup. Oh, wait. Or was it Lady Pifflington? Oh, maybe it was Professor Poodle Hair. I think I'll just wait till I can watch the end. Might be a while till you can do that, Norman. Oh, no! My DVD! Now I'll never find out who did it. Never mind all that, Norman. You know the children should never light candles. Well, we know who done that. A grown-up should light them, and they should be kept in a safe place away from pets. Sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. Whoa. Oh, are you sting? <coughs> Stand the back, everyone! It is I, Daniel Steel. You can't call Cat Norman Price. I'm the director. My line is not big enough. Do it again from the top and stick to the script, Norman Price. And quite please, everyone. And action! Help! There's a raging inferno blazing in the old coal shed. Run for your lives! Kiss your families goodbye! Tell my mom I love cut, her! Cut, 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 cut! What, what, what? Norman Price, that is not in the script. Yes, it is. I just wrote it in. You're making a mockery of my childhood. Now, properly this time. And action! Never fear! Norman Mann is here! Cut! Hot! <laughs> One day, many, many years ago, a really long time ago... Get on with it, Bryce! I am. Before the days of fancy fire engines and big powerful helicopters, a fireman's best friend was his trusty bucket. Pass, pass, pass! Pass the bucket to the next man. Pass, pass, pass! Pass it to the right! Stolen my spotlight. Oh, hold it, 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 hold pass, 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 it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, you to keep the spotlight on me. Me at all times. Station Officer Steele told me to keep it on whoever's singing. Who cares what he said? He's only the director. I'm the star. Point it over there and leave it there. The great Daniel Steele. No, Norman. Ah, there. Now that's my part of the stage, so leave it there. <laughs> My fault. I'm the star. Fire. 
Look out, everyone! Fire! Oh, this is a dramatic twist. I didn't see that coming. No, no, this is not part of the show. It. Listen to me, everybody. We need to evacuate the area. <laughs> the Mountain Activity Centre is on fire! And my show is in ruins. Can you pass me the CD, please? Hello, everyone. Doing a spot of computer maintenance? It's a new operating system for the Mountain Rescue Centre with all sorts of bonza features like a fire alarm in digital surround sound. Great, Tom. Glad there's someone here who really understands technology. Yeah. This morning I tried to make some toast in the photocopier. Right. Better get going. Off to my niece's birthday party. Ooh, mustn't forget the party game software. Oh, I wish I was invited to the party. I love birthday parties. Ooh, I love toast too. All aboard the Wizard and Warlock Express. <laughs> It's a spooky ghosty following the train. Whoa! <laughs> what are you two laughing about? That's about as magical as that jar of pickles. <laughs> it looks like your mum's dressing gown, but with a balloon head. That's because it is. No, it's not. It's a spooky ghosty. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh, dear. I'd better call Fireman Sam. Upload complete. Excellent. Now to test the new fire alarm. Ow! Oh, what is that infernal racket? Oh, dear. It looks like Tom uploaded the wrong CD. This isn't the new Mountain Rescue Centre operating system. It's... Dance, dance, party thong. Oh, goody. Let's boogie. <laughs> <laughs> A spooky ghostie has pulled Norman Price out of the train window. He's now stuck up a tree in the mountains. <sighs> well, it is Ponty Pandy. Just keep calm, Norman. Nearly there. Hey, got you. Only you could turn kite flying into an extreme sport. I wasn't kite flying. I was making a spectacular and very magical movie. Well, be careful. There's nothing magical about danger. Oh, your mum's dressed.